Hello, my name is Jim McCausland and I'm the General Secretary of the British Airline Pilots Association. Eight out of every ten of Britain's commercial airline pilots belong to our association and between them they have 50 million hours flying experience. That's a pedigree that allows our association to speak with authority and that's a huge responsibility, one we take seriously and one of the reasons for this short information film. In a recent independent poll, we discovered that 95% of our members were proud to be a pilot. Proud because they manage hugely complex systems and fly millions of people safely, 365 days a year, to every corner of the globe. 95% are proud to be a pilot, but only one in five would recommend it as a career to their children. Why? Well, getting the license is challenging in itself, but getting a job is even tougher. And increasingly, when a job does come along, it's too often casual work on a zero hours contract. Zero hours means no guaranteed work, no reliable income, no holiday pay, no sick pay, paying for your uniform, the list goes on. And now some airlines insist that you have to become self-employed or set up your own offshore limited company to get any work. That's not right. It's not just, and it's not acceptable. So our association has five key messages. Message one, to all of you who dream of becoming a pilot, we ask you to think very carefully before you venture into this profession. Do not make dreams your master. To those who are setting off on the journey, we are offering free membership so that you can get a glimpse of real life inside the profession before you start to try and raise the 70,000 pounds plus that will cost you to secure your basic license or the £30,000 that some airlines are charging you to get experience on their aircraft. £100,000 plus is a huge investment in anyone's book. So before you take off, research the reality. To help you, we'll be producing testimonies from those who have recently trod the path. It's very sobering. Message two, to those who have their hearts set in their career, our message is this. BALPA is not prepared to see this continue. We're going to challenge employers, challenge authorities and challenge politicians. We will use every legal avenue at our disposal. We will expose shoddy practice wherever they exist because it is not right that a profession in which the public places so much trust should be treated in this way. You have our commitment. We will tackle this. Message three. To those in authority who regulate this industry, we say, wake up. There's a real concern that this is an accident waiting to happen, just as it did in Buffalo in the United States in 2009. The American authorities have woken up to this trend and have made substantial changes in their industry. So I ask our authority, will it take a repeat of Buffalo in Britain for you to do anything? This is not scaremongering. Independent research supports this analysis and if you email us, we can share that research. The conditions here in Britain today are almost identical to those that led up to Buffalo. Sleep depraved flight crew who grab 40 winks whenever they can in a restroom, who need to take out second jobs to make ends meet. Shelf stacking by day so they can fly big jets at night. Pilots who turn up ill for a flight because if you don't, you might not get any more work. So the authorities need to wake up. Message four, to airlines we say it does not have to be this way. We have reached agreements with airlines that do provide quality training with job certainty whilst operating in economic reality. Our message to employers is join us in securing decent careers and stop this race to the bottom. Message five, finally to you the public. Our mission as an association is to make every flight a safe flight. We take that seriously and we ask for your support in two ways. One, if you can get an opportunity, ask the airline you fly with what proportion of their pilots are on these contracts. They really should only be used in exceptional circumstances. And two, if you get an opportunity to raise the matter with your MP, ask him or her to take on these interests and their concerns. You and your family deserve to fly safely. Thank you.